Right he went in. right in. Yeah. No. Oh, where is he That's going? It. Does he recover high, low? What has Zane got? That's going to do it. Mango not using the cliff to its full potential, and Zane taking it 3-2. I remember when I lost last year's Big House. There's a picture of me, like, just super defeated after. Because then it's like, oh, maybe I do suck. Maybe, like... Maybe maybe I don't got it anymore. Maybe I can't compete in the meta. It's yeah. kind of a common thing with Mango where it's like he's so good, but there's just like a couple things that if he could clean those up, then it could be entirely different. You're probably wondering, Mango, why did you tweet that out when I said I just wanted to go home? Because I did want to go home. Every set I played up until that, I played like shit. Yeah, how'd you feel playing Mango from oh, start on set? Fire. You know, he's on fire. He has like loses run of like five sets in a row and he's just playing super hot. So he's oh, dropping the punch. That's it. He's got the top Mango takes it. Mango winning his first ever Smash Summit. Mission complete. Mango has always hated losing. Recovering high again. There's Armada looking for the lead. Not the, the mix up, but Nair out of shield. Can he even make it back? No, so Armand's gonna slap him. Oh my god! And we did not see it. the repeat of Royal Flush. Wow. 3 1. Armada winning Evo 2017 from winners. So, like, my motivation's like, I don't wanna feel that way. I don't wanna go through all that again. So, for me, it's just pretty much losing is my biggest motivation. But as one of the five gods of melee, in his prime, Mango didn't have to worry about losing too often. Now we feel the tension of Armada. No, but wait a oh, minute! He, That's it. Him off, he just there. comes down from the platform and gets a grab on the top. Big House Six going to Mango. But the last few years have been different. New faces entered the scene. The old gods were retiring, and suddenly, Mango found himself facing the possibility that he was well washed. I remember when I lost last year's Big House. There's a picture of me like just super defeated after, because then it's like, oh, maybe I do suck. Maybe like. Maybe, maybe I don't got it anymore. Maybe I can't compete in the meta. For a competitor of Mango's caliber, the continuous disappointments throughout 2020 could have meant that he was losing his touch. No! Oh, where is he That's going? It. Does he recover high, low? What has Zane got? That's gonna do it! Mango not using the cliff to its full potential, and Zane taking it 3-2 last off. But as Mango himself said, losing was just the motivation he needed. And luckily for Mango fans, he was about to go on one of the sickest tournament runs of his career. Going to Smash Summit 11, Mango was facing a number of challenges. The tournament was the first in-person event since the start of the global pandemic, so there was a lot riding on the result. On top of that, Mango has never won Summit. I don't know. Yeah. No, that's all good. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> no. no. I knew it. No. Yeah. He killed himself after? Yeah. Oh, and then he did Oh, wow. And the memory of losing to Zayn, Melee's number one up-and-comer in the grand finals of the online Smash Summit 10, still stung. Like, if I have a chance to win an FD game, which I did, and I drop it, I don't care what happened before. I dropped it, I played ass, and I lost it. I could have gone up 2-1 with an FD game. That would have shattered his mental, because he knows he's not supposed to lose on FD. All of a sudden, the set is completely different. All of a sudden, I'm feeling myself. That's why I say I don't play well, because I dropped these big moments. Smash Summit 11 looked like Mango's last chance to prove he still had what it took to be a god. Unfortunately, things didn't exactly start out with a bang. That might be it. That was crazy. Oh, yeah. in right now. Mango with barely a shield. Oh. He misses a wave dash. Down uh -oh. throw. He's a mix up away. Oh. Living? He's Doesn't living. even go for dash attack because he, he knows the power. Yeah. Yeah. One oh. last chance. He's still living. Oh, oh no, and he's too oh. far away. Short. Wow. Three, one. Flop. After qualifying at the top of his group in pools, Mango lost his first quarterfinals match against Plup and tumbled straight down into the loser's bracket. He wasn't exactly feeling hot going into the tournament, and this loss was a pretty devastating blow to his confidence. You're probably wondering, Mango, why did you tweet that out when I said I just wanted to go home? Because I did want to go home. <laughs> that, I, I was done. I was so f***ing over it. Every set I played up until that, I played like shit. Mango now had to win literally every match he played against some of the best players in the world if he wanted to win the tournament. It wasn't impossible, but the odds were heavily stacked against him. Mango will likely crush either of those people because he's so good against Falcon and uh, yeah. and very good. He's probably like uh, one of the best against Marth too. Uh, and so he has a pretty good ride to top eight uh, and then it'll get pretty hard pretty fast. But Mango wouldn't be Mango if he was just going to lie down and take it. And any self-respecting Smash fan knows that a loser's bracket Mango is a force of nature. 
Oh, what a nice read on Mangos roll in there. Oh, no he chain grab. He went for the up smash. To the full house coming yeah. out. Oh, red the roll. You guys yet to damage him. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh that's out smash. That's, that's it. Yeah. So quick three piece. Wow. wow. Anybody's game. Oh, reads the roll in. Just scratching his nose. What was that? Oh, oh. excuse me? Oh, okay. that cost him so bad. <laughs> Mango takes a 3 0. Multiple opportunities there for nine. Oh, Mango just looking so strong right now with this pressure. Jeez. That shield oh, is so like... small. Oh, it's yeah. going to pop. Oh, oh I think that's going to be it. What a, what a set. One more Mango. top player gets mangoed. And if that wasn't impressive enough, Mango took the run back against Plup and then beat Hungry Box in the losers' finals. Beautiful. Okay. Like Dash. Oh, Ooh, two nares. That's a lot of damage. Slight bit of offense. Oh, oh my god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, oh my goodness, somehow. Yeah, how'd you feel playing Mango from the oh, start and set? You know, he's on fire. He has like loser's run of like five sets in a row and he's just playing super <laughs> hot. It's going to be an incredible grand finals. Um, and it's the way it should be because the, these are the uh, two best players in the studio right now. And that's what grand finals should have. There was now only one more opponent standing between Mango and his first summit win. The next god of melee and the man who bested him last time. Zane. Winning Smash Summit 11 wasn't just about the prestige. Both Mango and Zane were fighting over the largest cash prize in competitive Smash history. Not to mention the fact that their reputations were at stake. Zane's win would cement his status as the new greatest player in the world, while Mango's loss would validate all his self-doubts. After Zane took the first two games, it seemed like Mango was done for. But oh Zane my. just needs one hit. Oh, his wave dashes are crazy. Bro. Oh, no shield oh, grab for Mango. A B, that's yep. it. Zane's up to uh, I felt that up B in my, in my core. And FD yeah. <laughs> still available. It seemed as if history was repeating itself, except this time it was all happening in person. But Mango was not about to go down without a fight. Well, right now, this is a huge punish for Mango. Oh my god. Maybe death here. Finds him. There's the upstairs. Okay. Mango's on the board. FD, we go. Oh, it's all smash! Oh! That was it. so weird. Game five? No jump here. Oh, oh snap! That's crazy. Oh ah! my! Yo, oh! that's it. Okay, we're going to game five. No, no, no! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Save Di. Does he have a jump? Oh, okay, we're going to game five star. Oh, yo, oh, my yo, he's God. cooking. He's, on. he's cooking. Oh, my he's goodness. cooking. Just listen to Brandon. Oh! oh! Wait, a second, a second, we got a reset. After the bracket reset, both Mango and Zane had a chance to catch their breath before the real battle began. One of them was about to make history. Okay. Zane. Oh, oh does it? Yeah, Not quite. Uh oh. Down to that Four shit. Smash. Be nice. right. Zane Game on the board. One. Game one. Wait, Zane's Back not, here. Zane's oh, not no. second. Oh. Did he just get Zorgan up left? No, no, he's there. He's there. He's there. His feet get shield plugged. Mango with another lead. Oh, 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 beautiful oh, tech oh, by wow. Zane. Oh! No chance that Mango Ooh. just dash danced and charged up smash in his face! Counter? Oh, oh, what an angle. Oh my goodness. So yep. Yeah, oh, oh, wait a minute. Mango's still alive. One more chance. Yeah. Zane's Try gonna to recover. Zane's gonna pick this up. Yeah. Okay, wait. This time for sure, right? With oh. the laid back air. Grab ledge. Yeah. yeah. All right. 2 1 Zane. FD off the field. Mango, yes, he's still going for it. Zane has like almost no oh shield. My God. Oh, That's it. We're going to game 10. Oh, I can't believe it. This. We're going to game 10. Game I can't believe 10. it. Oh, oh the shield drop. Zane oh, dropping the punch. That's it. He got the jump. Mango takes it. Mango winning his oh, first oh. ever Smash Summit. After winning Smash Summit 11 at 29 years of age, Mango became the tournament's oldest champion, and he was damn proud of his achievement. Duh. Now we're getting f***ed up. I'm getting so blackout <laughs> drunk tonight. <laughs> Congratulations, Mango! The matchup was so incredibly close that it literally came down to one frame, as Muji King explained in his analysis of the set. This one frame changed the tournament. He can't shield here, now he can shield. Zane being one frame late here changed the tournament. Mango won something more than an important set against Zane or a coveted championship title. He won against accusations of being washed, defeated his own insecurities, and silenced any and all haters who ever said he wasn't on the same level as the rest of the gods. I was always like a firm believer in this, but seeing how far I've been here and doing like that, 
I think I might be ready to call it the goat. You think so? Yeah. Nicest thing you've ever told me. Well, you're in the, you're, you're, you're still in this shit after everything. After this tournament, the doubts can finally be put to rest. Mango really is the melee goat. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.